Good day, good day, Royal fans. Today's headline. Prince Harry took to make personal sacrifice not to steal thunder from the Queen. Harry could make a solo trip to England next month <clears throat> to pay tribute to the memory of his grandfather, Prince Philip. However, Royal expert Brian Hurry thinks chances to see the Duke of Sussex crossing the pond throughout 2022 are very slim. This is because Mr. Hui believes Harry is aware his presence on British soil could overshadow the sovereign as the country is celebrating her 70th year on the throne. Speaking further about a possible conscious choice, the Duke could make not to overshadow the Queen in this historic year of her reign, the author continued. It is a question of stealing the thunder from the Queen. If he does come back, it would be unintentionally stealing the thunder, but it's bound to happen. And if Meghan came, you can imagine the crowd which would turn out. There is still a groundswell of affection for them both, particularly from younger people in Britain. Harry and Meghan and their son Archie Harrison relocated to California in March 2020, just days before they officially stepped down as senior royals. Harry has since returned alone to the UK on two occasions. First, he crossed the pond during the third national lockdown in April last year to attend the funeral of Prince Philip. The Duke of Sussex is believed to have stayed at Frogmore Cottage in Windsor at the time. Meghan did not travel back to England on that occasion, as she was heavily pregnant with Lilibet Diana, but paid tribute to the Duke of Edinburgh by having a beautiful wreath dedicated to Philip placed in her and Harry's name at St George's Chapel ahead of the funeral service. Harry also returned to England in last June. During the second brief stay, the Duke of Sussex headed to Kew Gardens for an event hosted by Wildchild, one of his most beloved patronages. On July 1st, Harry and Prince William honoured the memory and legacy of their mother, Princess Diana, on what would have been her 60th birthday by unveiling together a statue of the late royal. Despite Harry's absence from Britain, he is still in touch with members of the firm. In an interview he gave in early 2021, he revealed he is regularly in touch with the Queen, with whom he and his family speak over the phone or video links. Moreover, earlier this month he was spotted at a LA stadium watching the Super Bowl in the company of his cousin, Princess Eugene. That's today's world news. Thank you for watching, guys. Please like, comment, and subscribe for more. Goodbye for now.